Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Hi everyone, I am Dr. V. W. J. Anand, Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology, Assistant Professor, Chennai. Today I am going to talk about differential transformation method which is one of the semi-analytical method which means the power series solution method. My topic comprising of examples, theorems and few examples definitions. By differential transformation method, we are able to solve the second order linear differential equations with constant coefficients. Definition small u of x is a original function and capital U of k is a transformed function. So, which is defined as u of k is 1 upon k factorial into d power k of u of x dx to the power k at the point x is equal to x naught, where small u of x is a original function which is defined as summation k runs through 0 to infinity capital U of k which is a transformed one into x minus x naught raised to the power k. When small x naught is 0, then we get a series solution small u of x is equal to summation k runs to 0 to infinity u of k x power k. Equation 3 and the Taylor series solution for the one dimensional they are one and the same. Theorem 1 states when we have two original functions small g of t and small h of t multiplied by a non-zero constant alpha and beta combined by the arithmetic operation plus or minus. If you take the differential transform of this, it will be transformed into capital U of k alpha into transformed transformation of small g of t is capital G of k. Similarly, transformation of h of t is equal to capital H of k. Theorem 2 states small u of t is t power n where n is an integer then u of k is Kronecker delta of k minus n. The Kronecker delta k minus n takes two values 1 if n is equal to k. If not n is k is not equal to n then it takes a value 0. Theorem 3 states if u of n is equal to an exponential function e power a t where a is a constant then the transform differential transformation of that is capital U of k is a power k upon k factorial. Theorem 4 states x of t which is equal to d power m of x1 of t upon dt to the power m then capital F of k is k plus m factorial upon k factorial into x1 of k plus m. Theorem 4 will be using theorem 4 quite often. Suppose let us take m is equivalent to 1, then what happens? dx, x of t is equal to dx1 of t upon dt. Then what is the corresponding capital X? Transformed 1, capital X of k is equal to k plus 1 factorial upon k factorial into x1 of k plus 1. When we further simplify this, we will be getting capital X of k is equal to k plus 1 factorial upon k factorial into x1 of k plus 1 that is nothing but 1 upon k plus 1 into x1 of k plus 1. In the same way, we can extend this idea for m is equivalent to 2, 3 and so on. Since we are discussing the second order linear differential equation solution of that, let us take m is equivalent to 2. What happens? Small x of t is equal to d square x1 of t upon dt to the power 2, then x of t is equal to k plus 2 factorial upon k factorial into x1 of k plus 2. When we further simplify the right hand side part, we got k plus 2 factorial upon k factorial into x1 of k plus 2. So, that is nothing but 1 upon k plus 1 into k plus 2 into x1 of k plus 2. Theorem 5 deals with trigonometric function x of t is equal to cos of alpha t plus beta where alpha and beta are the constants then capital x of t transformed one which is equal to alpha to the power k upon k factorial into cos of pi k upon 2 plus beta. Example 
solve the second order differential equation capital D square plus 3 into capital D plus 2 of x of t which is equal to 24 which is a second order linear differential equation with constant coefficient along with the initial condition. Here we are given with the initial condition small x of 0 is 10 and x prime of 0 is 0. This equation can be solved by various methods like analytical method and semi-analytical method. Semi-analytical method is since we know that uh, differential transformation is one of the semi-analytical method which means the power series solution method, it can be solved by both. By applying the differential transformation method on the above second order linear differential equation, what we get? The first term is second order differential equation. As we discussed in theorem number 2, for the second order differential equation d square x upon dt square, then the corresponding equation is k plus 2 into k plus 1 into capital X of k plus 2. Second term of the given equation, 3 into dx upon dt. Then the corresponding thing is 3 into k plus 1 into x of k plus 1 plus third term 2 into x of t, 2 into x of k transformed 1 which is equal to 24. 24 can be written as 24 into 1 that 1 is represented by the chronocrit delta delta of k x of k plus 2 keeping at one side pushing the rest to the other side we are able to obtain the recurrence relation reoccurrence recurrence relation that is capital x of k plus 2 which is equal to 1 upon k plus 1 into k plus 2 within the bracket minus 3 into k plus 1 x of k plus 1 minus 2 into x of k plus 24 delta of k. Let us call that equation as equation number a by substituting k is equal to 0, 1, 2 and 3 we are going to get some values. Now what happened to these two initial conditions? The initial conditions are x of 0 is equal to 10 and x prime of 0 equal to 0. Again with the help of theorem 4 substitute x of 0 is equal to 10 that will be transformed into capital X of 0 is equal to 10. In the same way x prime of 0 equal to 0 substitute in theorem 4 that will be transformed into capital X of 1 is equal to 0. We have capital X of 0 is 10 and x capital X of 1 is equal to 0. What else we have to find? Capital X of 2, X of 3, X of 4 and so on so forth. Using the recurrence relation when we substitute k is equal to 0 here in equation a which is a recurrence relation what happens? We get k of x of 0 plus 2 that is x of 2 which is equal to 1 upon 1 into 2 denominator is 2 minus 3 times of x of 1 minus 2 into x of 0 plus 24 into delta k delta of 0. Then we get capital x of 2 is equal to 2. Substituting k is equal to 1 in the recurrence relation a we get x of 2, x of 3, 2 plus 1 which is equal to 3, x of 3 is equal to minus 2. Similarly, substituting k is equal to 2, we get capital X of 4 which is equal to 7 upon 6 and so on. We can write the solution as final solution, series solution as x of t is equal to summation k is equal to 0 of t infinity capital X of k t power k. Substituting x of 0, x of 1, x of 2, x of 3, x of 4 and so on the values in the above equation we get x of t is equal to 10 plus 2 into t square minus 2 t cube plus 7 upon 6 into t to the power 4 and so on. So this is the differential transform solution or power series solution of the given second order linear differential equation along with the initial condition. The same equation can be solved by any of the known methods like analytical methods or Laplace transform methods, we get the exact solution as x of t which is equal to 12 minus 4 e raised to the power minus t plus 2 e power minus 2 t. Example 2, solving the second order linear differential equation of type 1. Type 1 is the right hand side is an exponential function e power 3 t along with the initial condition x of 0, 0 and x prime of 0 is 2. First let us see discuss this problem solution of this problem by analytical method usual method. What we do? We use the auxiliary equation then finding the complementary function then finding the particular integral 
adding them that gives the general solution of the original equation analytically. The auxiliary equation can be formed by substituting the differential operator capital D is equal to m. So, we get a second order I mean quadratic equation m square minus 6 m plus 8 is equal to 0. Solving them the roots the factors are m minus 2 into m minus 4 equal to 0. The roots are m is equal to 2 comma m is equal to 4 they are real and distinct. When the roots are real and distinct then the corresponding complementary function is a e power 2t plus b e power 4t. For finding the particular integral e power 3t upon d square minus 6d plus 8 substituting d is equal to 3 we get the denominator is minus 1. So, particular integral is minus e power 3t. Therefore, the general solution of the differential equation second order linear differential equation is x of t is equal to a e power 2t plus b e power 4t minus e power 3t. We have to find the values of the unknowns a and b that can be done with the help of initial condition. Substituting x of 0 equal to 0 and x prime of 0 equal to 2 we are able to get the value of a and b. Substituting the value of a and b we get the general solution as x of t is equal to 3 upon 2 into e power 4t minus 1 over 2 into e power 2t minus e power 3t. The same thing now we are going to approach solve by DTM method. The original linear differential equation first term d square x upon dt square. What is the corresponding thing? k plus 2 into k plus 1 u of k plus 2. Second one minus 6 into dx upon dt. So, the corresponding equation is 6 minus 6 into k plus 1 into u of k plus 1 plus 8 into u of k is equal to 3 power k upon k factorial. How do you get this 3 power k upon k factorial? e power 3t. When you use the theorem 3 for exponential function, we get 3 power k constant to the power k upon k factorial. Index u of k plus 2 keeping alone that at one side pushing the rest to the other side we get u of k plus 2 is equal to 1 over k plus 1 into k plus 2 3 power k upon k factorial plus 6 into k plus 1 into u of k plus 1 minus 8 times of u of k call this as equation a. Equation a is a recurrent solution. Now what happened to that initial condition? Initial condition when you use theorem 4 we get the u of 0 equal to 0 and u of 1 is equal to 2 the transformed one. By substituting k is equal to 0 in equation a recurrent relation we get u of 2 is equal to 13 over 2 mere substitution. Similarly, substituting k is equal to 1 we get u of 3 is equal to 65 upon 6. Substituting k is equal to 2 we get u of 4 is equal to 295 upon 24. Proceed in this way finally substituting the values in equation u of x is equal to sigma k is equal to 0 of t infinity u of k x of k. Since we found u naught, u 1, u 2, u 3 and u 4 substitute the values here we get u of x is equal to 2t into 13 over 2 t square 65 upon 6 t cube. 295 upon 24 into t to the power 4 plus 1277 upon 120 t to the power 5 and so on. Using analytical method we get the exact solution of the original differential equation is x of t is equal to 3 over 2 e power 4 t minus half into e power 2 t minus e power 3 t. The third example we have right hand side is trigonometric function which is a second order linear differential equation of type 2 trigonometric function along with the initial condition x of 0 1 and x prime of 0 equal to 3. Solving the above equation analytically we have the auxiliary equation m square plus 9 e equal to 0, m square is equal to minus 9, m is equal to plus or minus 3 complex roots. We know that complex roots always occur in conjugate pairs the corresponding complementary function is e power alpha x alpha is the real part is 0 here plus or minus i beta x beta is the imaginary part 3 here. So, the solution complementary function is a cos 3 x plus b sin 3 x. Particular integral cos 2 x upon d square plus 9 
substituting d square is equal to negative 4, we obtain particular integral is equal to cos of 2t upon 5. Therefore, the solution, general solution is x of t is equal to complementary function plus particular integral a cos 3x plus b sin 3t plus cos 2t upon 5. We have to get the value of these unknowns a and b that can be done with the help of the initial conditions. Substituting x of 0 equal to 0, we get the value a is equal to 4 over 5. Differentiating the general solution with respect to t, thereby we got x prime of t. In that x prime of t, when you substitute the second initial condition x prime of 0 is equal to 3, we get b value is equal to 1. Since we know that sin 0 value 0, cos 0 value 1, mere substitution, we get a and b value. a value is 4 over 5 and b value is 1. Substituting these two unknowns a and b, we get the general solution is x of t is equal to a value 4 over 5 cos 3t plus <coughs> sin 3t because b value is 1 plus cos 2t upon 5. The same can be solved by differential transform method. When we apply the differential transform method, we get the first term k plus 1 into k plus 2 into u of k plus 2 that representing the second order differential operator d square of something upon dt square plus 9 u of k that is our second term plus left hand side part. Left hand side is a trigonometric function cos 2t, right? So, 2 power k upon k factor into cos of pi k pi upon 2. So, this we got it by theorem 5. Keeping that highest index alone at one side u of k plus 2, taking the rest of the quantity to the other side, we get 1 upon k plus 1 into k plus 2 into rest 2 power k upon k factor into cos of k pi upon 2 minus 9 of u k. We call that as equation number a. Equation a is our recurrence relation. And the given initial condition has been transformed to small u of 0 is equal to 1 with the help of theorem number uh, 4 and u of 1 is equal to 3. Substituting k is equal to 0 in the recurrence relation a, we get u of 2 which is equal to 1 upon 0 plus 1, 1, 0 plus 2, 2, 1 into 2, 2. So, 1 upon 2 here, 2 power 0 upon 0 factor, 0 factor value is 1. So, 2 power 0 which is 1 cos of k 0, cos of 0 value 1. So, 1 minus 9 into u of 0. What is u of 0 value? 1. So, in the bracket we have 1 minus 9. 1 minus 9 is minus 8 upon 2. So, minus 8 upon 2 is minus 4. So, we got u of 2 value is equivalent to minus 4. Okay. Next, substitute k is equal to 1. When you substitute k is equal to 1 here, u of 3 which is equal to 1 upon 2 into 3, 6 into 2 power 1, 2, k factorial, 1 factorial value 1, cos of pi over 2, cos 90, minus 9 into u of 1. Substituting the u of 1 value here, we get u of 3 is equal to minus 9 upon 2. Proceeding in this way, we are able to get u of 4 value, u of 5 value and so on. Finally, substituting all u of 0, u of 1, u of 2, u of 3 and so on in the equation u of x is equal to sigma k runs to 0 to infinity u of k x power k. Since we found u of 1, u of 2, u of 3, u of 4, u of 5 value, substitute one after the another, we get a series u of x is equal to 1 plus 3t minus 4t square minus 9 over 2 t cube plus 17 over 6 t power 4 plus 81 upon quartile t power 5 and so on. So, this is a power series solution or differential transform solution for the given linear differential equation. And the below equation is a solution of the given linear differential equation x of t is equal to 4 over 5 cos 3t plus sin 3t plus 1 over 5 into cos 2t. You could see here these two solutions are one and the same or some of the terms are one and the same. Thank you.